And we've now been using this in, in a number of different athletes, and we've been accelerating return to play. We've been accelerating the recovery after a, a hamstring autograft ACL replacement. Those, those clinical studies are, are in the process of being reviewed right now. So the conventional concept that we have about impact forces, that they are the reason for injuries, and that they should be cushioned, doesn't seem to work. We should think about something different. Because it is different if you have high impact forces or low impact forces. It's different, we know that. But it doesn't seem to be related to injuries. And you know with training that proteoglycan can change. So training can improve proteoglycan, you can get more water in. And actually that is exactly the point. Because you have so the, the big question is, if you take the transfuses and the inner oblique, and you see the tendon coming together, where are these forces going, here or there? But more recently we've been starting to look at how that might interact with cellular processes and I think this conference is, the, is one of the, the first times I've really seen such a depth of understanding and depth of detail of those, of those processes. Pharmacological substances maybe can do some good things, but if you take away the tension then you're really in a problem with a tendon. And that's probably also why we're not going to find a magic drug where we can just lie on the couch and then inject something and then the tendon will heal very nicely. We want to understand.